Falcons are in our DNA. They run in our bloods. The Falcons makes even a bond between me and my, my son. They're part of what we are. My name is Hamdan Ahmed Mujrin. I'm a falconer, I'm from Dubai. The falcon is the icon of our country, it is even on our passport. Falconry is a, a part of our heritage. My grandfather and grand-grandfather used to hunt with it. These days they make competition of falcons. It's basically like the drag race, it's a quarter mile, 400 meter. You uh, release your falcon from point A to B. The fastest falcon cross this distance is the winner. I had a bird last year that got 15 seconds. This is the best time in falconry. While you're training, you have to learn how to make this bird put the full effort from your fist to the guy who's calling it. Chasing the plane or chasing the drone, it's a good exercise for the falcon. This is one technology which I think took us to the next level of training the falcon. It is much easier, much faster, because we can train 20, 30 birds in a row. We have hundreds of birds. I love them all, yes, but some of them, they are special. Their character is different. They're smart, they're clever, they're aggressive. We train the birds every day, morning and evening, non-stop. There is no, no resting in it. I feel proud of it. I learned this sport of falconry from through my father and my brothers. I remember the first falcon I got when I was four years old. I cannot forget this day. This is maybe the best day of my life. I'm thinking, could I pass it to my son or not? Because this generation is different with their iPad and other stuff. But luckily, I, I, I managed to. He loved it by nature. So I'm very happy he is attached to it. He started training real birds when he was a little bit more than two years old. When I watch him at home, he's basically all of the time playing with a falcon toy. The fact that my son does love this hobby makes us proud, all of us, not only me, the whole family. We're happy that our children are still attached to this hobby. So. Our heritage is still going through us and through our children.